Welcome to Chicago, man. Yeah, thanks, thanks. I'm excited, man. You don't need to go far to change your life. Let's go! <laughs> How you doing? Let's go. Great to see you, man. Moving from New Jersey to Pennsylvania unknowingly put Kevin White on a path to the NFL. His parents, Kevin and Tammy, determined it was a safer option for their children. Yet it still came wrought with challenges on the football field. Uh, mentally, I was drained, you know, not knowing why I wasn't playing. Was I not good enough? And so it was long nights, you know, crying, going home, talking to my dad, talking to my brothers, you know, maybe football isn't for me. You know, if I can't start varsity in high school or I can't even start JV in high school, uh, maybe it's not my calling. And then to see him not on the field, you know, going in second or third string, it was a hurt feeling and I didn't want him to give up thinking, you know, like he couldn't do it because we knew he had the capabilities. I say his senior year, he got everything he deserved when he got into the program because we moved from Jersey to Allentown and from Allentown to Emmaus. So him switching programs and new school systems, he always had to get adjusted, which kept his work ethics up because he had to work hard. Every day, do something that will inch you closer to a better tomorrow. It's a quote Jason Brader uses to inspire athletes at Fast Performance in Eastern Pennsylvania, where he helped White refine his unique athletic gifts. I thought of Kevin as a piece of clay, and I thought that I could really mold him. And every day we worked on him getting bigger, stronger, and faster. And uh, everything we did, I, I was just amazed by. Every day, I mean, it, it was just nuts. I, he, he jumped up on uh, boxes that were almost uh, five feet tall, and it, it, he made it look really easy. He always help, helped me, uh, stay on top of me. Uh, told me that I'd be uh, one of the best receivers, if not the best receiver coming out of Lehigh Valley. So I just worked towards it and listened to him all the time. Dreams without direction often go unrealized. White needed a post-prep path with Division I programs turned off by academic concerns. Brader had a plan. I basically asked him, uh, where was he going to go to school? Um, a guy that was that big, that strong and fast, it didn't make sense that he, he wasn't signed yet. And I had asked him if he ever thought about going the JC route. He had sent some film in to the JC that I went to Lackawanna. Lackawanna at the time had a full team, so they, they told him that they did not have uh, space for him. And that really shocked me. So I basically called up the same staff that coached me there. Coach Duty here may help you. Said, hey, look, you really need to come down and take a serious look at this kid. I knew about it just because of my cousin. So when I went up there, I loved it. I wouldn't say loved it, but it was the right place for me. Uh, this is what I needed. Uh, you know, it wasn't a lot to do. You had to be on top of your schoolwork, and guys made it out there um, to go Division One. I. I saw him, I realized how long he was, you know, he's extremely long. I mean, he's 6'2 and a little bit, but super long arms and legs and just really athletically built kid. I mean, he looked the part. So. The athleticism, the talent was there. It was just raw. And, you know, we knew Kevin was going to be a, a good receiver. We just didn't know at the time how good he could really be. Lackawanna College offered the spark that ignited the fire for White, but not without more adversity that challenged everything he was working towards. Kind of like miscommunication, because the whole summer my parents were communicating to the administrative office and, you know, they were going back and forth and some paperwork got mixed up and um, when I wanted to register for school, going to Lackawanna, they said, it was submitted late that I couldn't return. I know he was kind of defeated at that particular time and he just needed some assurance that he was really making the right decision to just give up on football. But some days I would think like, you know, well, football isn't for me. Let me try to find something that I would love to do or, you know, I can make uh, a lot of money at, and, at doing it. And I didn't think of anything. Uh, me as a father, you know, I, I said to him, I said, uh, you know, without a challenge, you'd never be anything. And, nothing come easy in life. And if you believe it come easy in life because of your senior year, you, you know, you got a rude awakening. It was a point where I was, I was just like, man, you know what? I'm gonna do push-ups every day. I'm gonna do sit-ups. I'm gonna do hill raisers. I'm gonna run the hills. I'm gonna watch film all the time. I'm gonna do everything every single day. Anybody who played football for a long time knows the first year you don't play, there is a hole inside your soul that is impossible to fill. Every, everybody retires from the NFL and any place else feels that too. So I could relate to what he was speaking about, but when he left the game, some people get depressed and some people get determined. 
yeah, he got determined, and that changes everything. You know, going to a junior college, as you know, we get athletes who are not qualifiers or predictors. Kevin had to learn how to study, just how he had to learn how to pick up his game as receiver, learn coverages, and learn how to set up routes. Kevin had to learn how to be a student. He worked as hard academically as he did on the football field, knew what he wanted, fought for what he wanted, and did what he had to do when he had to do it. And he knew that academics would get him to where he needed to be. The only impossible journey is the one you never begin. Once far removed from realizing his dream, White is a remarkable story of stubborn determination and a study in perseverance. We didn't know he was gonna be a great player. We did not. Anybody who says they did is a liar. We knew he was a great person, but we didn't know he was a great player. He became a great player. He's a guy that always had the claw from the ground up, man. And I find that when he has his back against the wall, that's when he really can push himself and, and, and take the right steps to get to his goals. He never threw in a towel. He continued to work hard. Even when he went through different trials and tribulations, it made him stronger. He's a walking, standing testimony that it can be done. Go to work every day, you know, brick by brick by brick by brick, and then you look up and you have a mansion. You know, brick by brick, that's what the kid did. You know, that's what he does now. With player personnel, people draft a kid in the first round. They draft somebody who has to change the franchise, make the franchise better. I don't think when you go to bed at night, you worry about Kevin White. And then see my son really stay focused and accomplish his goal in life, um, you know, is, is a new foundation for him and, you know, the best has yet to come. He is a true success story, and for any young kid that feels they don't have a chance, they should use Kevin White as the, the example of what hard work, discipline, and great effort can do. I always smile because, you know, I made it through so much, I've been through so much. Um, the hard times, good times, a lot more hard times, and uh, I conquered it. Uh, I made it out.